So if you have had ever a random day where your battery is draining more than normal and quicker than what you would normally anticipate, you used to have to take your phone, go into settings, and then go further into battery, and then look for the specific app that is draining your battery by all battery usage, and kind of scrolling through and seeing what is draining more than it should be. With iOS 26, that mystery power drain is somewhat solved in a couple of manners. First things first, when you go into the usage, you will see these items highlighted in a yellowish orange, dictating that it's draining more than historically has proven to be the case. When you do that, you can simply go in, like say Chrome for instance, you can see it's draining it. This time, we don't have an issue with it, but you can simply launch it and know which one to close out instead of having to swipe through and force close every app along the way. Now, in addition to that, what you can also do in battery settings as well, there's a new power mode called adaptive, as you can see that we have turned on. And when this is activated, it says when your battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life, including slightly lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer. Low power mode may turn on at 20%. While this is not ideal, it does help along the way to prolong your battery life. I say it's not ideal simply because when this is active, I have seen a number of times where the apps itself will really drag and they will almost feel like the phone is glitching out, the frame rates drop, and the performance definitely does take a hit. So again, not great, but with all of these new battery related features that are coming in iOS 26, the revamp settings in battery mode really does help here. So again, when you have an app, you see dragging down your battery usage for the day, you will be able to just nitpick here which ones you want. And then as you can see, messages use 1% more battery today compared to the last 77 days you know which one to go into and close down. It's a small tweak, but it is a great quality of life improvement act added in iOS 26. So aside from that, in prior iOS releases, like I said, you would have to go through the whole list and find it, but all of these apps will now be highlighted strictly on the battery usage screen, which makes it so much easier and more convenient for you to be able to discover what is going to help preserve some more battery life. We know in general, like I said, the settings menu have taken a huge change, but another good call out here, and let me actually go back to battery and then battery health. If you have an older device now running iOS 26, this is really going to come in handy when your max capacity starts taking a hit. So you can see we're at 95% capacity with 339 cycles. This is gonna come in handy for anyone below 100% capacity or even at 100% capacity, just looking to prolong their battery life. I think it's a great added feature and hope Apple continues to add features like this that do help with quality of life improvements. Aside from this, there's a ton of other updates and changes in iOS 26. We covered a bunch, but this is one we left out that should have been included earlier. So if you're on the public beta or next month, as crazy as that sounds, when the public release comes of iOS 26, you will be prepared, ready to go, and knowing where to look and what to close out. So aside from this, let me know what other tips and tricks you're hoping to see with iOS 26, and we'll make sure we do a follow-up video for you guys. That's going to be it for this one today, guys. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.